In this video, we're going to have a look at installing our bathroom fittings. Now, to do this, before we go into that, I just want to duplicate our 3D view. So I'm going to load it in the project browser, right click, duplicate view with detailing. And then I'm going to just right click on it and rename. And I'm going to call it 3D section. And then in the properties of the view, I'm going to scroll down until I find the section box and tick it. And now I'm going to click on the wireframe of the section box where it brings up this pair of arrows on each face of the box. I'm going to grab the top pair and bring it down so it just above the door heights inside would be handy. And now I can look and see inside the bathroom area by here. So now let's have a little look into our bathroom at floor first floor level. And click off, we don't need to see that box anymore. Okay, so there's our bathroom area. We are now going to go to the installer component or place a component. And we want to load family. And you want to find the plumbing file. OK. And have a little look through the equipment and the fixtures, etc. Familiarize yourself with which ones are available. And as we can see, there's quite a range of different ones we can use. I'm going to use this freestanding bath and just open that. Now I can use the space bar to rotate it. And then I'm going to drop it into the corner by there. Then I'm going to load family again. Go back up, navigate to the water closets for our toilet. And I'm going to use the one there, looking at the preview. And again, I could rotate it round, but then move it until it locks onto the wall. Drop it into place. And then I want a wash hand basin. Or a sink. So let's have a little look what we've got in here. We've got quite a few in here. So there's a really little one there, which might be useful in some of the other rooms, but we can just scroll through quickly, looking for a suitable bathroom sink. That one is looking like a good option. Could have a wall hung one. So as we can see, there are quite a few different ones we can pick from. Okay, I'm going to go for that one. Okay. All right. Now, as we can see, it's got it in the type selector over here. If you want to find a different object, you could always just click on that and look through. So again, spacebar, make sure it locks onto the wall. And we'll just drop it into place over there. Okay, let's take a little look at our 3D view, our um, 3D sectional view. And we can see we have our toilet and our bath. But we can see the sink is actually sat on the floor. So if we click on it, and then in the properties, we can see the level is first floor, but the elevation is zero. Now, some of the objects that you install as components are sat on the floor, when in reality, you don't want them to be. So I'm going to change that and give it 800 above the floor and apply. So now it has a bit of height looks a bit plain, 
So we could also have a little look and add a mirror to that. So let's go back to our first floor, component, load family, go to the fittings. Okay, there's a mirror by there. So we'll open that one and we can just drop that in by there. It gives us a little warning saying that it's not visible in the plan view. We're not concerned about that. So what we'll do is just jump across to the 3D section and we can see that mirror on the wall by there. And that gives us our bathroom fittings. So now you could just carry on and fit out the downstairs toilet and the ensuite.